Kurt Jones is a Southern Illinois Carbondale graduate. He is a microbiologist who pioneered the process of chirogenic encapsulation. This means he used really cold freezing methods to make little beads of ice cream, later known as Dippin' Dots. Dippin' Dot stands are in stadiums, theme parks, and shopping malls. The bead-like consistency of Dippin' Dots is created by a flash freezing ice cream mix and liquid nitrogen. Dippin' Dots is headquartered in Paducah, Kentucky. Last year, Dippin' Dots filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy because they could not reach an agreement with their lender, Region Bank. This year, the company was bought by Scott and Mark Fisher. Some people wonder why they can't ever find Dippin' Dots in grocery stores. Well, they cannot be sold in grocery stores because it requires storage at negative 40 degrees, which grocery stores cannot provide. Dippin' Dots is a global company and is available in Japan, South Korea, Vietnam, Greece, Israel, Canada, Honduras, USA, and Australia. Dippin' Dots has won many awards since it has been in business, including the Kentucky World Trade Center, Inc. Magazine, Entrepreneur of the Year, International Dairy Foods Association, and the Six Flags Vendor of the Year. In 1996, Dippin' Dots sued its main competitor, Mini Melts, for infringement. In 2008 and 2009, the company ranked 112 and then 175 on the Franchise 500 list. Dippin' Dots has expanded its business so much since it first started out. Not only does it make its original dots, but now it makes dot treats, dots and cream, Dippin' Dots coffee, and Dippin' Dots cake.